Hi, Moto here. I have got a fabulous piece that will enhance your reputation. It is a minute and a half solo, professionally written, very subtle. People are going to love it, and you'll prove to everybody that you're more than just another pretty bass who hangs around with the band. And so the idea of this is everybody steps back, you come out on the stage, and it's just you and your big beauty. So. Your bass has to be on its very best behavior. You want a killer tone that's really going to carry this, and this is a chance for you to be an individual. You don't have to just be one of the bands anymore. You can really show people what you are. Now, I'll tell you quickly, this piece was on the Steinberger site for several years, but it's been gone for two or three, and it is, as I say, a beautiful piece. I wish I could thank the composer because it's quite subtle, and I'm sure you'll like it. In honor of the source of this piece, which was the Steinberger site, we're playing this on a Steinberger Synapse. It's a wonderful tool to play, most enjoyable. Now, you do this the way I have suggested, and I promise you, as your notes die away, your crowd will rise to its feet as one. They will hoist their pitchers of beer in your honor. And they may not have roses to throw at you, but they will pelt you with nacho chips, french fries, and half-eaten chicken fingers, and believe me, there is no feeling like it. The drum track you're hearing is running at 40, so we can work on it slowly. It's mostly single string pentatonic, and you can't miss that. There are about four things I want to explain. So right now, you're doing the drum beat in your head. It's at that point that the drums come in. So what I've done is a triplet over the sixth fret, not a triplet harmonic, and I want to end on the high one, and there's no way I can reach over and do this. So what I've worked out in order to keep that ringing, I think it looks great. Not only are you using your thumb, but you're also tapping, and it shows you've got control and mastery of your instrument. So I think it's all good, and it's got a reasonable explanation <laughs> behind it as well. You hit one note and then you got a full measure to hear the drummer who's in by now and there's no possibility that you'll miss coming in together with him on your next note. So let me just pick up from here and I'll show you how it goes. for depth.
think the only thing to comment on in there is the wow at the end, and it works just beautifully because you do the wow first on the third string, and as you come back up, this string just naturally falls into place on the fourth. So practice that and then it'll just work like magic. Next thing is you're going to have a measure free and if you're really good with syncopation, I'm not particularly, then you can do all kinds of stuff with this but I'll show you what I've done. Want to show you that top two notes? They're at the octave and they're the one and two strings. So at the end of this, you play at the same notes, but you play them down here. In between, three triplets and a pluck. You can play the triplets any way you want. All three notes, or you can play two dead notes and one pluck. What I happen to like best of all in the whole world is a hammer, a hammer on, and a pluck. I think it sounds best in this too. Nice and percussive. Sorry. Then the pluck on the open string. Give it a try. Best wishes and thanks.